Here's our kitten Misty when she was first learning to play with a ball, and it's a great demonstration of an adaptive step size in a learning algorithm. When she's first learning, her eyes are taking measurements of the ball's behavior, and she's updating her estimate of what the ball is going to do next. You can see that at first she makes big adjustments and jumps around the ball, but now she's getting older and she's learned more about the ball's behavior and she makes much smaller reactions and updates. Let's see how this translates in a parameter estimation algorithm. And let's look at what's called the recursive prediction error algorithm. So here's an equation for the way you update parameter estimates in this recursive learning algorithm. You have a parameter estimate theta hat at time k, and you update that by taking the previous estimate and adding a term to it. And that term includes a gradient term to go in a direction down the slope of the cost function. There's an inverse correlation term to remove the correlation between the elements of the parameter estimate vector, and an output prediction error term. And as you make better predictions and you estimate the parameter better, this output prediction error term comes down, but it never goes lower than the noise in your observations. And importantly, there's the step size. And the choice of the step size is important. What Misty has shown us is that when you start, you want to have a big step size. But as time goes on, you want the step size to reduce. As you learn more about the estimates and you move down the gradient, you don't want to be as reactive as you were at the start. And a common choice is for gamma k to be set as one divided by the square root of k. So there are theoretical convergence results when gamma k equals one on k, but this tends to become too small too quickly. So one divided by the square root of k is better in practice. Of course, this is all for a constant parameter theta that you're learning more about as you take more measurements. But if the parameters actually change, then you need to take action and you need to increase the step size again, uh, as Misty does here uh, when she discovers her reflection and wants to learn about that.